hey virgo sun and rising in venus this is what we got going on for monday june 27th 2022 if you'd like to make a purchase you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com i got crystal sage incense personal readings and much more just a reminder virgos i am not responding back to any more uh, messages if you're sending me a message that has nothing to do with purchasing or inquiring any questions then i am not going to be answering responding back to anyone's whatsapp messages from now on all right sorry virgos i'm sorry if that's an inconvenience for you guys but if you need to speak to me you can go ahead and make a purchase uh thank you let's get it virgos coming with the ten of cups the knight of pentacles and the six of pentacles upright virgos you guys may have been in a connection that you guys may have found the truth about it and then once you guys had found the truth about it and things have gotten exposed with the moon card uh you guys seem to have walked away from this person you guys might be in a disconnection with this person at the moment so you guys may not be talking to them and a lot of you guys may not have any desire of even wanting anything to do with this person at the moment they're going to try and come back towards you but I see that you guys have done everything you guys can. You guys were such loving and giving people with the Six of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Six of Wands. This person's karma is going to be that you guys are going to continue to prosper, be successful, and being recognized by other people at the same time. Although you guys were given to this person, you guys were such wonderful people, this person didn't understand how to accept that energy. And for that, the truth ended up coming out about this person that maybe this person put you in a three-party situation and you were giving more than you should have with the Six of Pentacles. But now that you guys are sitting in your power, you're using your intuition a lot more and you guys are going to be able to continue to carry, carry on with your life knowing that you're being recognized by other people, other people who are going to want to respect you, uh, look up to you and and actually be there for you make sure that when you guys are in any type of connection with the six of pentacles to the high priestess it's not you always giving 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 it needs to be uh balanced out 100 percent, virgos i am doing i am seeing a lot of you guys being light workers as well people are going to want to cleave onto your energy because they're going to enjoy your energy virgos but if they're not giving to you or for the tarot readers or whatever, if they're not paying you, you have no reason at all to be going out of your way whatsoever. Uh, you should not be uh, doing anything uh, for free. It needs to be compensated 150%. You need to compensate for your service with the Six of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Six of Wands. And that's exactly how it should be, Virgos. Whoever this person was, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Pisces, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Whoever this person is that you guys are not in communication with, where this person ended up really screwing out on the connection with the Ten of Cups and Ten of Cups upright, Ace of Swords in reverse to the Three of Cups. Maybe this person was always partying all the time, never inviting you. Meanwhile, you're the one that was always giving to this person, being the best friend for this person or best lover for this person, but they're always leaving you out. You guys decide to pull your energy back with the Four of Pentacles left this person out in the cold with the three of pentacles and said you know what you can go have your uh three-party situation go go on with your life and go be around other people with the three of pentacles this person was or you guys did find out because you're the high priestess you may have found out that this person was doing some sort of magic on you they are going to end up screwing themselves up virgos it's saying for you guys not to worry about it because you guys are defeating this this person with the magician reverse somebody here who might be a taurus or a capricorn uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Pisces, this person it has been doing magic on you guys and because you guys are such giving like literally givers, 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 Virgos, this person was able was not able to reciprocate your energy back in return. So for that you guys moved on with your life, you pulled your energy back, you protected yourself at the same time and you guys may have found out that this person was actually doing magic on you with the Magician in Reverse, the Chariot and the Ace of Pentacles. It was a bad decision that this person may have done and you guys out, found out the truth with the Page of Swords, the Empress in Reverse. There absolutely is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, an Aries, a Taurus, a Libra, who may have been also very jealous of you too, Virgos, and this person may have been in this person's ear, whatever the case is, but at the end of the day, they're going to try and find a way to reach back out to you. Uh, this person cannot walk away from you emotionally, and you guys are going to continue to move on with your life, Virgos. Oh my goodness. Um... You guys don't trust this person at all because you guys know that this person may have taken advantage of you with the Five of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords in Reverse. Maybe you guys may have tried to confess to this person something in some sort of way, but at the end of the day, you guys are like, fuck it. You guys are going to continue to move on with your life. This person cannot move on with their life, Virgo. Somebody here is also very jealous of you with the Queen of Pentacles in Reverse. 
and they are taking advantage of you with the five of swords i would be careful with this energy it could be a taurus virgo capricorn here two virgos so in the past this person is still definitely missing you it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. That You guys got a lot of people who might be doing magic on you guys during the new moon energy. So since this is the, the energy before the new moon, uh, they are saying that this person was out to really get you guys. Uh, regardless, though, it's just simply saying that you guys are not going to want to be with this person in any way, shape, or form at all whatsoever. They're all angry. They're all pissed off. They're all in reverse. The Queen of Wands in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. The Empress is in reverse. The Hierophant is in reverse. The only one that's upright is the King of Cups, the Page of Cups, Justice, and the High Priestess is up in reverse because you guys are not sitting down doing anything wrong to anybody, Virgos. You guys are doing just fine on your own. You don't have an issue allowing your intuition to always guide you. And your intuition always guides you to bigger and better things for you to always be able to uh, win your victory and be successful in all areas of your life because your intuition is literally on point. There are very many evil and low vibrational people that you guys that you guys got in your energy. You guys also have an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Gemini from your past who is desiring you and wanting to come back and have you again. But a lot of you guys may not be attracted to this person anymore with the lovers in reverse. <sighs> there could have been a Capricorn who does not really believe in the divine or anything like that. They more so they are more so into the darkness, Virgos. Very toxic, very low vibrational, trying to keep you trapped in some sort of way here. They are absolutely heartbroken with the three of swords in reverse. I do see that there's somebody here was trying to do some sort of spell work on your heart space to uh to get you to come back, but I know that it's not going to end up working out for this person in the long run with the Tower card to the Nine of Swords. In fact, it's actually going to hurt them a lot more because the angels are taking care of you and protecting you. And and this person's going to try and find a way to reach out to you with the Page of Pentacles to the King of Cups. You want nothing to do with this person because you don't have time for the bullshit, the struggles, or anything like that. Seven of Wands, you are very highly protected. And the angels and the divine and karma is literally looking at the Seven of Pentacles. Like, how many, how much more are you planning on, uh, on trying to manifest and plant seeds to wish harm and do harm on somebody? And that's justice to the Seven of Pentacles. Justice is literally looking at what this person has done to you. You, and they're honestly counting all the times that they've done bad on you Virgos for that you guys are going to keep yourselves protected you're not going to you want nothing to do with the drama at all in any way shape or form some of you guys may have been in some sort of marriage that the marriage is not working out for you guys because it's a very toxic and very low vibrational it's a maybe coming to a complete ending it's causing you guys a lot of stress here too if you guys end up reaching out to this person, you guys are going to end up fighting with them with the five of wands to the seven of wands energy. Somebody here feels like their backup is against the wall. And then with the seven of pentacles to the justice card there, you guys might be thinking about planning on getting a divorce for some of you guys or even serving papers. But somebody here is still waiting because they are, they're, they're still contemplating with the seven of pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, you got the hermit card. All right, you guys are going to be in Hermit for the next little while, sweeties, trying to figure out what it is that you guys want to do. There could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <sighs> this Virgo is thinking about, they're in Hermit right now, Virgos, but they're thinking about wanting to reach out to you. They are worried a little bit about your reaction with the Knight of Swords to the Two of Wands. They've been thinking about you quite a bit, and they're trying to find a way to come back towards you. They know that they have to speak to you. But they're just not sure what to do. They're at, definitely at a crossroads. They don't know how to come back towards you. You guys are absolutely in hermit mode. Some of you guys are can't even be found or seen or anything like that whatsoever. Like, if you guys were able to see each other all the time, this person is not able to see you at all anymore, Virgos. With the Knight of Source to the Four of Cups, there could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius who's going to try and take action to come back and, and, and communicate with you. But you may honestly want nothing to do with this person. This Gemini Libra Aquarius probably doesn't understand why you want nothing to do with them with the two of swords, but that's just because you just you're simply calling judgment on them. You just don't want to deal with this person's energy anymore. Virgos, your intuition is literally telling you to move on with your life and, and carry on. I think that's the right the right thing for you guys to do. There's no point of you guys being in a connection or a relationship or whatever the case is where you're giving more into the connection and you're getting you're receiving nothing back in return. But because you guys chose to walk away in silence, you guys end up with your victory, with the Six of Wands. The whole point is not hurting in people's feelings. That's the whole point. But this person absolutely hurt your feelings, Virgos. And because you guys chose to pull your energy back and just walk away and go on with your life, that's why you guys will always have justice to be in your favor. Because what the moment... 
the moment you you speak and you say bad things to somebody, now you're creating karma for yourself. It's okay to just simply walk away and just move on with your life. You don't, not everybody deserves, uh, not everybody deserves your reaction. Is what I'm picking up here. All right, there could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius who's still holding on to. This person wants to speak to you, of course. So do expect a message coming in from this person, but they might be blocked too. And you guys may not honestly be able to forgive them for what they have done to you. They caused you guys a lot of stress. You guys need to find a way to release that burden, Virgos, of what this person has caused you. So that way that your abundance and prosperity to come in and put an end to it completely with the death card. You need to release the Ten of Wands. If you guys are going to continue to carry the stress and hold on to things and not learn to forgive, then how are you going to be able to receive your Ace of Cups energy? It's time for you guys to put a done end it and go on with your life and move on with the three of wands it's okay to take time to rest and retreat there could have been a taurus virgo capricorn or scorpio that you may not have been talking for a while but do expect a message coming in from this person especially for the ones who may have been in in uh, separation and even if this person may have ghosted you as well virgos they are going to try and find a way to come back towards you and communicate with you expect between the next eight days this person's going to find a way to reach out to you again and you guys may have not any idea that this person's actually going to be coming back for you guys you're sitting in your this person's going to be sitting in their power with a strength card and they're wanting this new beginning with you guys as well and they do want a reunion here for you with you too with the eight of pentacles they're wanting to work on this relationship and this connection they do have a lot of love for you at the same time they're still holding a lot of passion and a lot of love for you but this person's now looking back at the past with the seven of swords about what it is that they've done to you in this connection and they know that they're missing out a whole lot by you on you virgos because you guys made them so happy you're so bubbly you're so childlike you're so much fun to be honest with you and this person definitely has stolen your heart but they are receiving their karma and that for that it comes to a complete ending or it did come to a complete ending with the ten of swords this person has abandoned you virgos but since they had abandoned you and you guys kept the wheel turning for yourselves and completely put an end to it with the ten of swords you guys are have been in the limelight with the star card to the nine of pentacles a lot of you guys are really getting into your success look at that a lot of you guys are getting into your success so if, if this person didn't do what it is that they did to you virgos you guys probably wouldn't be where you guys are at today. Like literally in the limelight, people are recognizing you. People are seeing you. You literally are shining like a star. A lot of you guys are coming into stardom, like literally stars, Virgos, like celebrities is what I'm talking about with the, with the star card and the nine of pentacles to the world card. People all around the world know about you and a nine of cups. Like you guys are emotionally fulfilled being by yourselves and being okay like yes this relationship fucked you up and it destroyed you to a whole other level but with that cycle there that cycle was meant to come in and crash and put an end to it with the ten of swords because if that cycle didn't come to a complete ending then where would you have come and learn what you're meant to be doing in this lifetime this person would have dragged you kept you stuck kept you stagnant and you guys wouldn't have had a really hard time of being able to figure out what your life purpose is supposed to be or what your next venture is going to be but if this person was going to be in your energy you wouldn't be where you guys are at today so look at it as a look at it as a blessing and when this person comes back towards you guys virgos because they've hurt you and wounded you they're not going to be able to get back into your grace anymore they're trying to use their intuition on how they want to come back forth towards you again but because you guys are so blissed with the nine of pentacles the world crown the nine of cups this person knows that there is no seat in your energy for them move your feet lose your seat since they move their feet then they're not going to be able to get that spot uh, again in in your life um, this person has been watching you with the nine of wands and they're absolutely stuck and they have no idea how to approach you even if this person did try and approach you virgos you guys would be so busy doing your own thing working succeeding uh without this person in your life and that's going to be their karma for what they've done to you thanks cuties bye